we went and talked to Warner first, and then to Universal, and then each one after the other. And I have to tell you, we met some great people there. And they were willing to, to do something with us to go change the world. And we were able to negotiate landmark deals with all the big five music companies for our music store. And let me tell you what we got. Today, we've got 200,000 tracks. We're loading in tracks every single day. This is going to keep on growing and growing and growing. And all of this music with all of these rights, you can buy for 99 cents per song with no subscription fee. I'm an economist. Obviously, I think price competition is a good thing. I mean, uh, and it would seem to me that particularly new artists would like to be able to see their product priced as low as possible so that they get exposure, right? So, you know, it, it seems to me that to the extent that you can get greater price competition, this probably does benefit consumers. Uh, it's not something that firms are going to want to engage in voluntarily uh, because price competition can push your profits down to basically nothing, and uh, firms would like to make as much money as they could. So there's nothing unusual about firms wanting to keep prices high. It's just whether the competitive environment will allow them or not. If, in fact, Steve Jobs meets with record executives from other labels and they agree on a particular price, it seems to me that that violates antitrust laws, that that would be collusion.